Hello and welcome to Friday Night Shooters. I'm your host, Pierre Rear. Today we'll be doing the God of War Pantheon Inception Bomb. Now, I know many of you heard of the Inception Bombs, but most of the ones I see on the web, it's all one primary style. Maybe a couple different variations, but not much at all as a change. It's basically you have your Jaeger Bomb with your Cactus Cooler and then a shot. That's it. So, I mean, it's a good concept because the fact that you're taking a shot within a shot within a shot, it's like Deception, which is the movie, which is a dream within a dream within a dream, but it's like it doesn't have the originality that my site and what you'll see in many of my cocktails. So I wanted to make an Inception bomb. I did not want to make the Inception bomb. So I modified it to something completely different, something that's never been done. It's something that I am very proud of something I like a lot which is the Greek mythology and I love God of War I played it I beat every game it's a fun series if you ever get a chance to play it you'll love it if you have a PlayStation 3 you gotta play these so basically what this is is you have all four gods each god has a particular ingredient that makes them who they are if you look back on my Facebook page you'll see that I created, a, well, redid rather, a, a new version of my God of War cocktails, which is based on Zeus, Hades, um, Ares, and Poseidon, so to make them a lot more palatable, a lot different, to keep the basic idea, but definitely make it something that keeps up with times. So I was thinking, how to take them four gods, create them into a Inception Bomb, but still keep the idea of an Inception Bomb, which is a shot within a shot within a shot. So, this is how you do it. First one you want to make is going to be Hades. Now, the idea with Hades, it uses pomegranate schnapps. Because if any of you know Greek mythology, you know the story of Persephone, who she had a tree that was actually owned by Hades, which is a pomegranate tree. She took three seeds. Each of those three seeds counts for one month that she must remain in the underworld as the wife of Hades. Pretty much a slave, you must well say. And those three months are winter because her mother with the loss of her daughter for those three months she's full of sorrow she's sad she's she has like doesn't have the life that she normally has and her mother usually brings spring brings new life so her sorrow becomes winter and that's what the three seeds symbolize the three months of winter so that's how pomegranate schnapps comes in at the end of the underworld it's death decay destruction what better ingredient to use other than 151 it's something that's going to be potent in your face if you drink too much it's going to destroy you it's the decay and destruction it's the perfect ingredient for this now to keep with the idea of the purple dark color that you see in the game the kind of purple blue is more like life calmness red anger purple is kind of kind of this depressing color it's something that you look at it's kind of like eh, it's mellow it's, it's in between the two so that's one of the reasons why i chose to use grape juice so the first thing i want to do to create this cocktail is you're taking one ounce of pomegranate schnapps You want to put that in the pitcher because this is your base for the whole cocktail. There we go. Then you want to take half ounce of your 151. Take that, and then you add your grape juice. Now, you want to have just enough to give it a good cushion. So, I say about 10 to 12 ounces. I'm going to go, I'll go about 12 ounces this time.
boxes. Alright. That's all done. I rinse this out a little bit because I don't want to mess up the colors. Because the next one you're going to make is going to be Poseidon. That side there. Now make Poseidon. Hold that thought. I need one ingredient. To make Poseidon, you want to make a drink that's more icy, cold depths of the sea, because he is a sea god. God of the sea, rather. And the idea of putting the ice in there, in fact, it's it's deep sea. He controls the whole ocean. So that's where that comes in effect. To make the ice part, you want to use this creme de menthe. So I think it's sweet, nice minty flavor to it. And it's cold. It leaves that cold sensation over your tongue. So what you want to do is take about half an ounce creme de menthe. A little more than half. Dump some of that out. There you go. Then you want to take half ounce blue curacao. Then you want to add Sprite to that. About, let's say about four, six ounces. You don't want to go too much because if you go too high, it's going to be too much liquid. Okay, that's two. So I'm not going to go about four. Because you already got one ounce extra, so it works out. There we go. Now we have the Poseidon bomb. Now you want to create Zeus. To create Zeus, easy enough. The main thing you got to do to start is just take your Red Bull to about eight ounces, or four or six ounces rather, into another glass. This I'll go about six ounces. Next thing you want to do is you want to create the two shots. Now the concept of using Red Bull is it's Zeus. He's energy. He's basically the giver of life. So that's where the Red Bull comes into effect. Now he's also the king of all gods. So crown royal. Perfect one to use to get that concept of head. So you just want to take one shot glass, fill it about an ounce or so of Crown Royal. Then we'll take your grenadine, and with the other one, just add like a splash of grenadine because all you're doing, you're taking the concept of the fireball, and you're making it red. The fireball whiskey, what that does is that's the symbolizing Aries. Ares is the god of war, the original god of war, and fire symbolizes rage, the rage of war, as they say. And that's also going to be about an ounce, that's not depending on what size you have. And the reason why you want to do the Grinding first, because once obviously you add the fireball, it's going to make it red. It blends very easy, you don't have to worry about mixing or anything. So, now basically, what you have is you have Zeus here, Poseidon, Hades, and Ares. To create the drink, the main thing you want to do is take this, actually, 
actually set that aside for a moment. Take a two shot glass. There's a reason why I use these. One, they're dropping in the Hades, so it's something that's going to be death. Skulls. Plus, they lock together very well. But you can also buy these on awesomedrinks.com. I definitely suggest it if you can get a hold of them. Now, here's the fun part. What I'm going to do is take Poseidon, put it in just below the height of Zeus. Balance him just like that. There you have it. The Pantheon, Inception Bond, God of War. Now the idea is you take the shot of Ares, which causes the royalty to drop into the Red Bull, creating Zeus. Then you take Zeus, it takes the cold icy depths of Poseidon, drops into Hades, so you have the cold, dark despair of the underworld. The death and decay, what the want to want. All together, this creates the full Inception Bomb. It's a very good cocktail. Let's try it and see how it's done. Now here's the fun part. It's very difficult. I'm not dropping anything. You want to take your shot of Ares, which causes... I can get it out of there. That drop in. Take this. That drops. And then find the Hades. Oh boy. The one thing about this is it's 26 or so ounces of liquid. You're taking in one shot. That's a lot to take in. But the idea is you take in a shot, so you gotta make sure you have good breath. I didn't, so right now I'm out of breath right now. But it's actually a really good drink. You get um, a bit of the cold aspect of the kind of meth in the finish. It's a lot to take in. Wow. Whew. Yeah. Especially as quick as I took it, that's a lot to take in. Now, the first thing you get, obviously, is the airy shot. It's sweet. It's spicy it's it's basically you get the war aspect the spice and the sweet and mix it together you got a nice little hit of cinnamon in there the um, the Red Bull the Zeus drink it's actually really good Crown Royal mixes pretty well with the Red Bull it makes it's a very good balance of flavor so you take that and also kind of calms down the burn of the cinnamon from the fireball and then you take the Poseidon which drops inside and you drink that you get a very sweet grape flavor to it it's something that's um, it's refreshing the cold it kind of lingers like I'm still getting the cold feeling in my mouth and my throat but it's flavor is really good if you can get past that much liquid it's only about four and a half ounces worth of alcohol, but it's like 24, 26 ounces, depending on how much you put in there. It's a lot of liquid. It's something that if you have a full stomach and you drink this, you're most likely vomit because your stomach just can't hold all this at one shot. But it's it's definitely good. It's a very good concept. If you are a fan of God of War, if you're a fan of Greek mythology even, this is definitely something to look into doing. Even if it's just the fact of you want to just try them separate, you just want to have your um, have your Zeus bomb as one drink completely separate, and then take like just modify the recipe, maybe do half half and then a little bit of Sprite mix, and have that drop into your grape and your Bacardi in that. 
pomegranate schnapps and just create a shot that way so you have shot within shot but if you want the full inception bomb this is the best way to have it but it is something that it fills you up quick it's a lot of carbon but it's very good it's very unique this is something that I can guarantee you nobody has this out there as far as the inception bomb style this is something that has a complete story to it it's not I mean the idea of inception bomb it's a dream within a dream within a dream so you have shot within a shot in the shot so the inception bombs that you see online that's a story it's just shot within a shot within a shot it's if you look at some of the stuff on my site my stuff goes so much more in depth there's so much of a storyline to all the stuff I create it's something that I can't just make a shot within a shot within a shot I had to have a reason why the shots within that shot and then that shot goes more than that shot so you're drinking it and you're like oh so that's why it's there so it's a very good idea very good concept if you're more into the story aspect of the drink other than the drink itself you would love this as with all my stuff out there and it's it's good it's really good a lot of, a lot of liquid but it's really good and I hope you enjoy this and definitely like us on facebook.com slash spirit cocktails uh, you could definitely see tons of different recipes Go back and look at our other Gods of War drinks so you can see the different ones I have on there. Look at the original drinks I have for Zeus, Hades, Ares, and Poseidon. Look at the version 2 ones I created of them. You'll notice the difference between the two. This cocktail, is, or the shot rather, is based more off of the version 2 than it is the version 1 recipes. Even though the version 1 is the version 2, it's a slight modification it's not a big modification but it's something that makes it more palatable so i think it makes it a little bit different than you would normally have although i don't know if i had pomegranate schnapps in with hades the original cocktail but it's simple you know that i mean if you follow greek mythology you know that persephone is hades wife and the story of why she's hades wife and the whole thing with winter and all that stuff Speaking of which, I do have a Persephone drink, so if you follow my site, you'll see it. That's a really good cocktail. Just gotta get a whole pound of cranberry juice. It's good. Now, definitely suggest try these out. Well, try out the original recipes. Try out the Inception Bomb. Definitely comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know of any other ideas for Inception Bombs you'd like to see. Just check out my site. Even the Ninja Turtles Inception Bomb. Because I have all four Ninja Turtles. This is all four gods. I can make a Ninja Turtle Inception Bomb. It's not that hard. This is something that if you like to see more of, although it's a lot to drink at once, I can create it. Just let me know. If you want to see a Ninja Turtles Inception Bomb, just leave me a comment below and I'll design one. Hope you enjoy this. Once again, like us on Facebook.com slash Spirit Cocktails. Subscribe to our channel, and as always, drink responsibly.